Well, guys, I was not expecting this. I was literally on my way to bed. I had taken out my contacts and I laid in bed and I saw news on Reddit that new Infernoble Night cards were going to be released. So I said, you know what? Screw going to sleep. Screw my health. I'm going to put on my contacts and I'm going to talk about the Infernoble Nights that are going to come out. You guys know how much I love Infernoble Nights. This has been my favorite deck basically of all times alongside like virtual world and cyber dragon but infernoble knights is the only deck that i maxed rarity i got my ulti aqua dolphin i got my collector knight gear free i mean i got my japanese uh charles i mean i have a max rarity uh and i am so excited and so hyped that konami is finally finally giving us some more support Aurora Dawn got banned, Halky Firebox got banned, what, like we deserved something. So let's go over these cards, guys. If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button. And let's talk some Infernoble Knights. So on the first card that's, that got over here announced is Infernoble Knight Richard Richard it. So it's a warrior tuner effect with 500 attack and zero defense. So it's a level one, so you can use Link Karibo or something like that. So Let's read it. it. says, you can only use one if a Noble Knight's Richard effect once per turn. And only once that turn. It says, one, you can you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard. Special summon one level four or lower fire warrior from your hand. Also treat that as a tuner monster. You can also banish it from graveyard. Hmm, that's interesting because you might be able to mix it up with like a mill strategy. Like if you mill this, banish it, special summon a level four or lower from your hand and and it becomes a tuner so synchro plus like mill strategies might become popular with this and the second effect is if this card is normal or special summon you can target one fire warrior monster in your graveyard except in for noble knight richard special summon it also for the rest of this turn after this effect resolves you can only special summon warrior monster so uh, it doesn't even say it has to be a specific level. It doesn't even have to be a link or anything like that. Doesn't because it doesn't have to be in defense position. So uh, it can be a synchro link. Uh, it could be a regular, uh, just uh, an effect monster. So you can special summon it. So you can special summon something like a Gear Freed Charles. Pretty crazy. This might be like a three of in the new Infernoble Knight deck. So. Uh, another card that got released, uh, this is official release date, April 22, 2023, uh, Fire Infernoble Knight Turpin, uh, looks pretty cool, it has like the little lightsaber right there, uh, and it says, it's a fire level 4 warrior effect, 1400 attack, 1700 defense, first effect, it says, if you control a monster equipped with an equip spell, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, but if it was summoned from the graveyard, banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one warrior monster you control, equip that card to the monster as an equip spell. You can only use each of the above effects of Infernoble Knight Turpin once per turn. If you would use the equip monster as synchro material, it can be treated as a tuner. Okay, so if you target one, uh, it becomes a tuner. So it's pretty cool. So, I mean, it can be treated as a tuner. Uh, if you control a monster equip, you can special summon this card from your hand or grab, but if it was, that's pretty cool, it's also an extender, so this is gonna allow for, for some pretty easy synchro plays, honestly, this might, this is definitely gonna be used in the new Infernoble deck, definitely, I don't know if it's one, two, or three, but it's definitely gonna be used, I liked it a lot, I like it a lot, this one's a trap card, what, that's interesting, Epic Char Epic of Charles, you know, I'm, I'm actually glad that they're giving some honor to Charles because Charles is literally my favorite card in all of Infernoble Knight alongside Aqua Dolphin and, uh, yeah, Aqua Dolphin and Charles are like my favorite ones, but, uh, I like Roland also, but it says you can literally use each effect of Epic of Charles once per turn. Reveal one Noble no Arms equip spell in your hand, especially one Infernoble Knight monster from your hand or deck, then either equip the reveal card to the summon monster or send it to the graveyard you can special summon from deck with this huh you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one infernoble noble knight emperor charles you control equip one noble arms monster from your hand or deck to that monster as an equip spell increase that monster's attack by 500 so they kind of wanted you to like uh revolve your deck around charles now that aurora dawn and hockey firebacks have been banned they're like you know what charles is gonna be like your main focus look i like the art is <laughs> has charles on 
on like the little like monitor and the lower monitor and the little Charles over here. Uh, I don't think that's Charles, but then we have Angelica Empress of Noble Arms. It's a level five synchro. It says tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use each effect of Angelica Empress of Noble Arms once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can add one card from your deck that lists Infernal Noble Knight and Pearl of Charles in its text or Horn of Oliphant. Okay. When this card on the field is targeted for an attack or by an effect, you can send one fire warrior monster from the graveyard. You can you can send one fire fire warrior monster to the graveyard, then banish this card until the end phase. Then you can special summon one Roland monster from your deck or extra deck. Something to note here. Something to note here is that it doesn't say target by an effect by your opponent's card. So you can actually target it yourself with a card that you control yourself. Then you can send one fire warrior from your then you can send one Fire Warrior monster to the graveyard, then banish this card until the end phase. Then you can special summon a Roland monster from your deck or extra deck. So that is actually very cool. That's very cool right there. And this right here is a Link 1 with 3,000 attack. And I love the art. Literally like the Flame Sword. He's like literally like all fire. Oh man, I, I, I'm getting flashbacks. I love this deck so much. I haven't been able to play it because it's it's not it's like not even rogue right now. But now with all this support, I'm a I'm a put it back into my my main uh deck holder and I'm gonna bring it back to local. So if you guys want me to post some combos with this deck, put it on the comments below. But with those new cards, put it on the comments below. But yeah, it says Fire Warrior Link Effect, Link One. Bottom arrow, 3,000 attack. One level 9 Infer Noble Knight Emperor Charles equipped with an equip card. Okay. All right, then. So it's very specific. That's why it has that high attack. It says, if this card is Link Summon, you can target one Infer Noble Knight Emperor Charles in your graveyard. This, card, this card's name becomes that card's original name. Also, this card gains that monster's original effects. Then equip that target monster to this card as an equip that gives it 500 so this is basically like an evolution of charles because it gets to keep all the effects of charles plus right because it's gaining 500 so it's a 3500 attack plus it gains all the the effects of charles and it says once per turn when a spell or trap card or effect is activated you can send one equip spell from your hand or face up field to the graveyard negate the activation and if you do destroy that card wow that's crazy that's actually so crazy right there because you're by default gonna be have you're gonna have uh a charles equipped to this so you already have a spell and trap card gate plus all the bonus uh equip spell that you're gonna have wow this card is gonna be crazy a spell and trap card gate every single turn that's crazy. So this with Gear Freed is going to be a spell and trap card negate plus Gear Freed is a monster negate. So you're going to be able to have both bases cover, covered. So, and now we're going to have a no Infernoble Infer Arms Armas. A quick spell you can only use e one Infernoble Arms Armas effect per turn and only once that turn. This card is equipped to a monster. You can choose one Infernoble Arms equip spell from your deck or graveyard other than Infernoble Nar Arms Armas. Equip it to the appropriate monster you control, then destroy this card. Okay. So it's basically... Uh, it replaces itself with another Infernoble Arms card, right? If this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your... Fire Warrior Monsters in your graveyard or Banish, add it to your hand. So it even recycles the Banish and stuff in graveyard. So uh, it doesn't even have to be destroy or anything. So if you, if you Link Summon something while this is equipped, you can add something from your graveyard or Banish. So that's pretty cool. Then we have Great Noble Arms Museum. Field Spell? What? We're finally going to be able to take in Terraforming on this deck? Konami, oh my goodness, you're so, every single time you disappoint me, but now, now you're finally giving back to the community. Field spell. Fire warrior monsters you control gain 500 attacks. So Charles, so the link one equipped with Charles plus this is going to be 4,000 attack. What? <laughs> Once per turn, you can pay 1,200 life points. Add one noble arms card from your deck to your hand, except great noble arms 
So you can just add a normal arms card from the deck to your hand. That's insane. And you get to, doesn't even say a specific one. You get to pick. That's crazy. Once per turn during your, the turn that you use the above effect, you can target one if a Noble Knight monster in your spell and trap cards on special summon it. But if you do not control it for Noble Knight Emperor Charles, when you activate this effect, you can only special summon warrior monsters for the rest of this turn. Wow. So it's not only is it an, an extender, but it's also it, it lets you add any Noble Arms card. I'm telling you guys, this will boost in for Noble Knights from like a tier four to perhaps like a tier one deck. This is good, good support because it like ties the deck together, which is what it needed after Halky Firebrax and Aurora Don't Got Banned. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with this deck. So Gianfranco might also be working with this deck, which is a very good Infer Noble Knight player. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new support that's coming out. Put it in the comments below, but I'll catch you on the next video. And I'll catch you playing Infer Noble Knights because I know I will.